your shirts on. Lady, put your bra back on. All right, it's Friday, and I should button up. <laughs> Too much skin. Let's welcome tonight's guests. He wrote Up in the Air, and now he's in our chair. Novelist and literary critic Walter Kerr. He used to write for Rolling Stone, but everyone deserves a second chance. Editor-in-chief of Racket News, Matt Taibbi. She's an independent voter, and she knows Kurt Loder, host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy. And the only thing bigger than his body is his brain. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former NWA world champion, Tyrus. Wow, I'm already tired. But before we get to some new stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's Leftovers. It's where I read the jokes we didn't use this week. And as always, it's my first time reading these. So if they suck, we'll strap Joe Mackey to a table and have Lizzo sit on his chest. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Doctors, doctors at a hospital in Ohio have been accused of propping up a dead patient in order to make her appear, appear alive for visitors. Gee, I wonder where they got that idea. <laughs> Speaking of, President Biden's German Shepherd Commander was seen biting another White House staffer. When asked if they were going to put Commander down, a White House staffer asked, which one? <laughs> How dare you laugh at that? He's our president. <sighs> Major U.S. airlines have discovered that some of their jet engines have been maintained using parts that had forged safety certificates. In response, executives at Spirit Air said, Wait, you guys do maintenance? <laughs> Weird, it's called spirit. On Wednesday, Hooters celebrated the company's 40th birthday. Yeah. Like, it's a great meal. They yes, it have. is. But also 40 years of men lying to their wives that they go there for the wings. <laughs> a 104-year-old woman took a record-setting jump as the oldest person to ever go skydiving. She landed in 12 minutes, but her boobs landed in 10. <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch, but she is in our demo. <laughs> Keep taking that relief factor. A study found that some animals reduce conflict in the wild by having gay sex. Yeah. Yeah, this explains why I've been spotting all those penguins at brunch. <laughs> Uh, if you lived in New York, you'd understand. <laughs> An obese social media influencer is demanding hotels widen their hallways to accommodate travelers of her size. In her response, Expedia suggested she stay at a Motel 12. <laughs> Democrat Junior Squad member Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm, postponing a key congressional vote. The former New York City school teacher said the doorway confused him because he's stupid. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have to write the joke. A YouTube prankster survived being shot by a delivery man that he was harassing. The shooter was found not guilty of malicious wounding, but guilty of unlawfully discharging a firearm, or as they call it in Hollywood, no biggie. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Who cares? DHS Secretary Mayorkas announced the government will build a wall on the southern border, despite once, despite once saying that walls don't work. But President Biden clarified walls do work. It's stairs that remain a problem. <laughs> there you go. A tech conference that excluded men was overwhelmed by dudes who lied about their gender identity. What do they think this is, a woman's prison? <laughs> Mattel's new Stevie Nicks Barbie doll quickly sold out. Comes with a tambourine, black boots, and a cocaine addiction. <laughs> Starbucks is closing seven downtown San Francisco locations. The good news, you can still get a human turd on the street in Venti or Grande. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Yeah. You love those poop jokes. Yeah, a new survey finds that Americans consider Freddy Krueger one of the top horror icons. 
which is impressive considering the stiff competition. <laughs> oh, not funny. Poor lady. A 76-year-old Florida woman fled the scene of a hit and run driving with the other driver draped over the hood of her SUV for two miles. I know. Police easily identified the car as the whole time she left her turn signal on. <laughs> Kevin Spacey says he was rushed to the hospital fearing a heart attack after his left arm went numb. After meeting his male doctor, Kevin said the numbness had spread to his penis. <laughs> It's unfair. He's innocent. <laughs> Disney reportedly plans to make the new Bambi live action less traumatic for kids. This time, instead of getting shot, Bambi's mother will just move to Chicago. <laughs> yeah. All right. Applauding the death of a deer. Finally, Congressman Hemi Qua Hemi Hemi Henry Quaylar was carjacked in Washington, D.C. this week. Other members of Congress said they were glad he was okay, then went back to banging hookers. <laughs> All right, to the news. Do young men need a class in order to make a pass? On a recent podcast, NYU professor Scott Galloway says young men should learn so-called mating dynamics amid the rise of artificial intelligence sex box, also known as Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> a course on mating? I think I have the perfect teacher in mind. Let's watch. I think every, every teenager in, in high school should have a course as part of health on mating dynamics, where they teach, especially young men, that approaching a woman and expressing romantic interest while making her feel safe is a skill, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that the end game, a relationship, a partner, a romantic uh, partner, is one of the keys to a happy life. Mm. Also a key to a happy life, two hit shows, six bestsellers, and the face of God. <laughs> oh, stop it. And I didn't write that. All right, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. But as fewer dudes risk dating rejection in the real world, he offered this dire warning. I think that AI, in combination with sex bots, is going to create an industry where men start having relationships with algorithms and dolls. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Where do I sign up? But start having relationships with algorithms and dolls? Right. I know, apparently he hasn't heard of hookers. But the professor suggested several ways young men can improve themselves, which include putting on a clean shirt, showering more often, and hitting the gym once in a while. Well, that eliminates Kid Rock. <laughs> hey, he's not doing the show. But come on, how about a class for women, too? Maybe stop expecting men to be rich, funny, and over five foot five. <laughs> I feel bad for the people who meet none of those standards. <laughs> but really, the professor's not wrong. In this day and age, boys are more likely to bond with a laptop over a lady. There's pornography, video games, and a glut of prescription meds, which together dull the natural urges. And that prevents them from dating, meeting a soulmate, getting married, having kids, and then losing their house in a gut-wrenching, soul-sucking divorce. <laughs> then you end up dying alone in a studio apartment above a bail bondsman, drowning in cheap booze and regret. We call that the Olbermann. <laughs> All right. So, wait, there's some truth to this, Walter, right? I mean, kids today, we used to have to, like, look for our pornography in parks. <laughs> that didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But it's true, like some but teens would hide it in a hedge and then you'd come around later and find it. It was like it was like the, uh, it was like a rural library. Treasure hunt. Yeah, treasure hunt. See, I I, hunt. Di I disagree and I think this is bad advice. Yeah. Um men, you know, as far as sex bots and pornography go, men after a million years of hunting elk and bringing them home to their wives and the wife saying, that's a pretty small elk, um, have finally got the world exactly the way they want it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this guy is saying it's immature. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the fact is that the way to get women also is not to make them feel safe. I used to try to do that. Yeah. Um, and they would leave my table and go over to the guy in the leather jacket who made them feel excited. Yeah. Um, so. He's not going to. He's not going to foster any relationships with this 
sort of soft sell, clean shirt, make them seal, uh, safe advice. Yeah. If guys want to know how to get women, they should listen to Mick Jagger, not <laughs> NYU <laughs> professor. <laughs> that is true. Now, Matt, first time on the show, before I ask you a question, I want to clear the air. Back maybe 15 years ago or so, I wasn't fair to you. I used to, I feel bad. So I want to make it up to, to you with this. I'm so sorry, Matt Taibbi. I've made fun of you for years. I feel the shame. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's true, oh please believe me. I'm sorry. Yes. Is that David Bowie? That was that was Gene. That was very David Bowie-esque there, Gene. I yeah. Know. And he did never heard that song before. Matt, I hope you're touched, and in a I good am way. I very touched. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So back to this topic, which now seems like a million years ago. <laughs> uh, do you think that uh, that was good advice? Well, I think if you don't know how to talk to girls because you're too online, mm -hmm. talking to a robot probably <laughs> isn't going to fix the problem. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, and I kind of second Walter's thoughts on this. If you if you want to learn how to talk to girls, probably. You know, getting instruction from a guy who spends his whole day in front of a screen is not the way to go. Just send all these people to Italy for like three hours, <laughs> right? Uh, That's they'll, true. They'll come back and they'll actually know it, something. An exchange dating program where they just send you to places where men still talk to women. It's just like, <laughs> talk to women constantly. <laughs> exactly. It sh this should be taught by construction workers. <laughs> And Mick Jagger. And Mick and Jagger. Mick Jagger. Yeah. Oh my God, Mick Jagger as a construction worker. Yes. I need a moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, Kennedy, uh, he said that also that women have an issue with dating shorter men, mm. which I have never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you I don't, say? I don't like it when women sully the name of other women mm -hmm. by demanding that men are rich or of a certain height before they meet them and before they determine whether or not they have anything in common or this alchemy, which is so incredibly important. And I think that's what the professor is trying to get at. As human beings, we're tactile. We like to feel things and smell things. Mm -hmm. And we are removed from that process when our entire lives are digital. But he's also in New York City. If you go to different parts of the country, people are still outside. People yeah. are swimming in rivers and people are snowboarding. And if those are the kind of people you want, you have to put yourself in those situations and take yourself out of a city. But Matt's absolutely right about Italy. Mm -hmm. Like in Italy, men will make love to you with their eyes. Yes. In and, and Germany, they just stare at you. Like, dudes stare at you. And it's like, I don't know if you're a serial killer or you're super into me, yeah. but now I want to see your schnitzel. So, <laughs> but there, there's something about the confidence of the approach that, that some men are missing, and then a lot of young women dress like whores, and that makes me sad, too. Yeah, and the thing is, it's a challenge for young men because the first question you have to ask is, I just want to make sure, do you have a penis? <laughs> I've asked that. I thought that would land harder. <laughs> so did she. Why do penis jokes if they're not funny? Yeah, they, yeah. yeah they're just being a dick about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrus, you are, uh, I, okay, here's- I'm a, a conqueror. Yes. I've conquered. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it. But the thing I is- bet My dance card is full. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm proud got, of that. How many kids you got? I got- <laughs> For tax purposes, I have four. Um, and they're all different ethnicities, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was winning in all phases of the woman game. <laughs> so I'm proud of that. Did you have a, was it a challenge for you in terms of now that we talk about safety and safeness, that like when you would approach a woman and you're six, eight? Listen, Gutfeld, <laughs> here's the problem. What? Here's the problem, let me break it down for you. We don't need a class. Yeah. for men to learn how to be men. Mm -hmm. We have to go out and fail. 
You have to. T you don't need people coming to school and telling you at seven whether you want what rainbow or whatever you want to be, and you can identify as this and that. You have to go out in the recess yard and get chased and threatened by girls. Mm -hmm. It's part of the process. You have to fail. And yeah. Fail, and then you go to the first dance and you're terrified, and you walk up to a girl and be like, "Would you like to dance?" And she's gonna say no, mm -hmm. and her girlfriends are gonna see her say no, and they're gonna laugh at you, and it's gonna hurt. Okay? <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna Hurt. And your boys, <laughs> your boys are gonna be like, damn, and you're gonna get through it and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna keep asking, then you're gonna get clever and you're gonna say, hey, would you like to dance? It's just like, no, I didn't say dance, so you look fat in your pants. <laughs> What'd you say to me? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Did you say something? Now your boys are laughing. Yeah. And she's not gonna dance with you. Yeah. And she's gonna go back and tell the girls, you know what he said to me? And, da -da -da -da. and one of the girls, while they're saying that's gonna do this. <laughs> Then she comes to ask you to dance. Mm. You have to go out there. You gotta be you gotta be a hunter. You gotta take your, you gotta build it. There you, you go. Understand? And then eventually, you can have babies from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> but what you've just described is the reason we have sex bots. Um, no. Not to have to go through that. Yeah. But that's how you, you, you need stripes. You gotta get, we gotta get stripes. We've got to, failure is beautiful. Because yes. of it, you build confidence because then when, it, when you get hit in the mouth, you're good. You've been hit before. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen? Once a AI or robots get uh, become conscious, then they're going to be able to reject you. And imagine getting oh. turned down by a Something robot. Something you bought. It already happens. Your card was not accepted, sir. Do you have another <laughs> form of payment? <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.